Hello friends, allow me to present a review of our partner anti-detect browser Multilogin. This is one of the first anti-detect browsers to appear on the market and for many many years they have been making up-to-date solutions. Let's show care the combo of Multilogin and iProxy and check out anonymity on various websites. Let's go! Today I will show you how to work with the multi-login anti-detect browser so that you can work with multiple accounts at the same time and so that your work could be anonymous and there won't be any compliance to your IP. I will show you how to work in a browser using a proxy from the service iProxy Online. This service allows you to create and change mobile IPs. So during your work any platforms won't have any compliance and suspicious to your IP. Let's start. Launch multi-login. Now we need to create a profile. I already have working profiles, but I will show you how to create a new one. I am in the All Profiles tab. Click New to create a profile. You will see a new window where you can set up a new profile. Set the profile name at the top. On the right you can define the profile in a group if you have one. It is needed for example to group profiles by platforms, buyers, sites, wherever you want. You can create a group for different purpose. On the right you can set all the information about your profile. Fingerprints are generated and here on the right you can see them all. In principle all parameters are displayed here. And when you make any changes you will see how they change here. Here you can also see the operating system that is being used, the user agent, the language and everything else what you need for work. Now, in the operating system section you can select the operating system that will be displayed when you'll be working with multi-login. You need to choose operating system. But remember, to replace fingerprints correctly you need to choose an operating system which is similar to yours, which is installed on your computer. I have Windows and I choose Windows in the program, otherwise my work may be unsafe, which is also written in the text below. Below you can choose a browser. Steel's Fox is similar to Mozilla Firefox. Mimic is similar to Google Chrome. It means that your work will be similar to work in Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome. It is browser simulator. You can choose anyone, because Multilogin support both browsers at the highest quality level. You can see all these changes on the right. When I click Get new fingerprints to generate new fingerprints, you can see that they are being replaced. I don't recommend you to change all other settings. These settings are chosen automatically. Of course, you can change them all as you like in the Advanced Settings section. But I do not recommend you to do this. Multilogin takes these settings from real existing systems, so you can be sure that they are working. In the profile settings we need to set another proxy. Click on change proxy settings. By default proxy is not currently selected. We need to set it up. I said earlier and I will repeat again that we will use a proxy from iProxy Online. In the profile copy the information from created mobile proxy. How to work with iProxy Online you can watch in the video which already downloaded on the channel. The link will be in the description. Go watch and enjoy. If you set the proxy, click Check Proxy. As you can see, everything is green. This means that the proxy is operational. Then click Create Profile. Done. A profile has been created and a proxy has been configured. It is also recommended to use cookies. And now I will demonstrate you how to import them into Multilogin. To do this, I will take cookies from my Facebook account. I already have cookies in the file on my PC. On the right of your profile, near the Start button, there are three dots. Press it. Select Import Cookies. You can either drag and drop a file here or select Text and set cookies in the text format. When everything is set, click Import Cookies. Just pay attention to the file format. If it doesn't match, you will see a notification. And if everything is fine, then click Import Cookies. Now we launch the created profile. The multi-login browser opens. Now I recommend you to check anonymity in order to make sure that the work will be safe before starting your work. Go to Huernet and as you can see 100% disguise. Well, you also need to check how well the fingerprints have changed. Go to Pixelscan.net. As you can see everything is approved, there are no questions about IP either. 
Proxy from iProxy online works fine and all traces are cleaned up. Now in the multi-login browser I open Facebook to make sure everything is working. We are automatically logged into Facebook, which means that the cookie import was successful. Now, how to work with several Facebook profiles with different proxies? Go to iProxy online and change the IP address of the proxy. To do this, click on Change IP. You can work with this proxy in several profiles. How it works? Go to the first profile with a configured account, do all necessary work, then change your IP address in iProxy. Next, open your second profile, do your work. In the end, change your IP again in iProxy Online and so on and so on and so on. So you can work with as, as many profiles and accounts as you need. And for example, Facebook or other platforms on which you'll be working won't have any suspicious about your PC and your accounts. To check the proxy for operability, go to Huernet and you can see that the IP address has changed and now it will be used for this profile. You can also change the IP address through the Telegram bot iProxy Online bot. How it works you can watch in the video on the channel and we will leave the link in the description. Wherever methods you use to change the IP, enter the proxy settings in the second account and run it. It is clear that the fingerprints in these two accounts are different and Facebook will not be able to determine that you are working from the same computer in different profiles. So it's pretty simple and convenient. If you still have questions after this video, then write in the comments. We will help you to figure it out. And for those who want to understand traffic arbitration, we recommend the excellent resource fsecret.com. There are interesting articles, blogs and all the information you need about this topic, so you can become successful in traffic arbitrage. The link will be in the description. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click like. If you have any questions, then write them in the comments. Good luck with your work. Bye.